Hey, this is Dave with the Preston Valley Barbell, and today I was going to do a little recap video on my competition that I just had this weekend, and it's another competition that um, I feel a little bit frustrated, I guess, with the result of the competition as far as my performance, but I leave the competition feeling very, very good about where my training is going and my progress as an athlete and all those kind of things. So, um, as far as uh, as far as the the meet went, uh, this was a, a local competition that I actually was kind of doing for redemption after Raw Nationals, where I ended up missing all of my deadlifts, and so I wanted to come in and put up a big total at this meet, um, kind of just to, to put the total on paper that I know I'm capable of, and it didn't turn out that way again. So um, this meet was the first time that I'd really been experimenting with a cut, so I cut down from uh, 215 pounds down to I, I weighed in at 203 pounds, or it was uh, 92.4 kilos, so I was really, really happy with the way that that cut went, and I'm going to for sure be doing it again. It was really easy for me, just did a little water load and water cut the week of, uh, reduced some of my food volume, and it, and it worked excellent, so I, I felt physically very strong. I don't think there was any uh, performance detriment that I could see from that. Um, as far as squats, my, my training, I hadn't really been very aggressive with my training for squatting. Um, I, I just wanted to, I, I was doing some a little bit more experimental stuff. Uh, I was doing a whole lot more pause squats. Um, I, I'd say less specificity in general. I was just trying to, to put together a solid block, not necessarily a perfect block. It ended up working really well for me. So I squatted a competition PR of, uh, it was 290 kilos or 639 pounds. So um, I'm really thrilled with that. My best before that had been 622. And uh, through this one, I, I was, I buried all my squats through all my training. I was making sure that I was hitting depth consistently. Uh, my, my squatting has been one that I've really put a lot of effort into over the past year or more. And now really getting up into the, the 600 pound range is really starting to be really effective for me. My bench press was another one that I was very, very thrilled with was I ended up hitting a competition PR, actually all time PR of uh, 413 pounds, 187 and a half kilos. Uh, and, and that one felt really strong as well. So uh, that was an inter interesting cycle was that since Raw Nationals where I hit my, my PR of 408 pounds, I hadn't hit, I'd only hit 400 pounds one time since then. So actually above 385 pounds only once as well. So since Raw Nationals, I, I benched 385 probably once a week or, or and sometimes twice a week. Um, just never felt like I needed to go above that. So. Um, and, and then all my sets and reps and those kind of things were getting a whole lot stronger. So um, those increases really paid off again. So the the main frustration, I guess, would be on the on the deadlift, obviously. Where when I got to that one, I was I was feeling very very good. And, and That's again, my opener. so that one kind of an over pull. It's it's easy to say something like the the weight was just too light and I could and I pulled it too quickly and those kind of things. But realistically, the same thing happened to me at Raw Nationals and. Um, I've been locked in that way consistently in training, so I don't, uh, as far as uh, my uh, reason for why I, I've done that twice now, I'm, I'm starting to do a little bit consistently on my opener weights is to lean too far back at the top and fall off balance. I don't really have a good explanation, I just need to be better. I, I need to, to make my training so that that doesn't happen. Um, the, the second rep, I guess, is the rep, or my second attempt, I went up to 350 kilos again because my opener felt good. I just wanted to keep moving on, um, mentally stay in the meat and everything. Um, and I felt like so, I pretty good rep. The, uh, there, there's a lot of comments on, online and everything about how that should have been called a good rep. And while I do think that I, I locked out the rep and held it for long enough and should have received a down command, I think to some degree the you know the judge is looking at my rep from before and that I had a balance issue. And if she thinks I'm potentially off balance on that one, she was waiting a little bit. Now the the rule does say that once it once I appear to have taken the lift, I need to get a down command. And at that point, obviously, it goes to the judges on the lift out or not. Whether I think I should have gotten a down command, and I do think it should have been a good lift, but I can't miss my opener. I can't miss my opener, and I need to be able to hold that weight longer. Uh, and, and so I, I can't, I can't criticize any judging or anything like that when I just have, you know, consistently at this point shown that I'm unable to, to execute those weights. And I had another attempt. I, I, I'd say I just, you know, spaced out. Um, I, I went out very aggressively and I pulled it very quickly. Um, but, but then at the, you know, missed that one forward, and that one was really just on not me, my, me not being patient. Was that I, I really just wanted to rip the weight off the floor and. Uh, I, I had a lot of 
progression going into it, and that didn't really work out, obviously. So the the deadlifts are one that um, I'd say as a as an athlete, as a coach, even I need to take more seriously. So, guy, which is where I am, um, I, I have the American record at three hundred fifty point five kilos, which I got last year at the Arnold. Um, so that was seven seventy two. Um, I, I basically got to that point easily. Um, I've, I've always been a good deadlifter. Uh, I've put in a ton of effort into my into my squats and into my bench press, and those have really shown up as with my my progress there. My deadlifting has consistently gotten better. I, I feel very, very pleased with how strong I've gotten there, but obviously extremely frustrated with my execution. So I'm ending up bombing out of the last two weeks in a row, and and so that's it's just unacceptable. So what it comes down to is that I just have to hold myself to a higher standard uh, in training. I, I can't let myself um, dismiss reps where I lose my balance or where I have bad lockouts or having grip issues um, and just say it'll be better. Uh, at, after Raw Nationals, I gave myself a little bit of an excuse is that, that in my head I said, I'll work hard, I'll be better. But going to that meet, I had a little bit of a knee injury and I wasn't able to train super effectively. And so I said, it's because of that. That's that's the reason that I, that I didn't complete any lifts. It was, it was because I had the injury and be better again. So I put in the work. I mean, I put in some effort, um, but then it was obviously not enough. So in between nationals and now, I've been totally injury free. I've had great deadlifting training. I've, I've been to, I've pulled very, very well. And so then the same result happens and, and I just need to be better. So after after every competition I do, I, I write down a, a new set of goals. I write down specific goals, whether it's um, the, the stuff with the squat bench and deadlift and total um, but then I also write down process goals as far as what I can do, what I learned during the last cycle as far as me being better. Um, a lot of those things you, I, you've probably seen with the, my hashtags on Instagram is things like the, the four minute mile is one that I that I put on there saying that um, obviously if other people can do it, then I can do it. There's you know, it's a reminder that there's people to chase and that there's people chasing me. So anytime that I, any success that I have as I'm getting better with my squatting and benching and deadlifting, so those are probably a reminder to other people that they can get better too. That's been a big driver of, of my progress. But the, the, the new thing that I wrote down, my new goal, was all I wrote down was two words. I just wrote down, earn it. So up till this point, I felt like I've, I've gotten a lot of progress specific on deadlifting with, without a whole lot of uh, tears and sweat and that kind of stuff. I just, I've just been able to, it's always felt natural to me as it always clicked and I've gotten better pretty easily. So um, I, I think the mistakes that I've made recently have come from me essentially being lazy and not feeling like I needed to put in more work than what I was doing. So um, if, I, if I want to get pound commands, if I want to have records, if I want to be the best overall, if I want to do all those kind of things, I need to earn it every day. I need to earn it in training. I need to earn it in competitions. I need to make my lockouts better. I need to just do all the things to make myself the, the lifter I know I can be and not just expect to be able to show up and have, have these things given to me. So um, that's my new thing going forward. I'm not going to compete again until uh, Raw Nationals. So I don't want to do another meet to tune up or whatever. I'm not going to do any of those kind of things. I'm just going to put in the work every single day in between now and Nationals. I'm going to show up and we're going to have a, have a great meet. But I'm not going to expect it to happen. I'm going to, to earn it every day of training. So um, that's going to be my mentality going forward. The, the cycles uh, the, the first one I'm going to be doing is kind of more of a general hypertrophy block. Um, and as I've talked about before, I'd like to get people involved with this. So um, if, you, if you want to get on with the club coaching program, you can follow along with my programming with me. And uh, there's obviously going to be a lot of stuff to make deadlifts better. Um, but it'll be volume for upper body. We're trying to build a lot of upper body mass, um, a lot of quad strength, and then lots of, lots of emphasis on just perfect deadlifts. So um, it'll be kind of a fun thing to get a lot of people involved in. So send me an email if you're interested in that, and we'll get that going. Uh, but if you like the video, so get me get back to more of the, the coaching stuff here going forward, probably a little bit less of the, the vlogging stuff, um, but I'll still try to keep people updated with my, with my training as well. So um, send me some comments, uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.